Hello and welcome to Bowtie Life. We are getting ready for our fall seed starting. And uh, my mom actually gave me some seeds not long ago that are not young seeds. In fact, some of them are pretty old seeds and I thought it'd be interesting to see how they plant and how they grow and if they grow. Uh, so let's get into this. Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. So before we start, I just want to talk briefly about what I'm using for seed starting. Uh, I have my normal uh, potting mix that I get from um, uh, Lowe's, and this is the Stay Green potting mix, the blue bag that you can get. Uh, I like this stuff. It is, it has been for me the most consistent soil and the cheap soil. So um, now the, there are cheaper stuff that out there and I haven't found anything to be as consistent as the stay green soil. Uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, I did pretty moisten uh, the soil in here so it, it is nice and, and moist. I cannot squeeze any water out. Uh, it is probably just shy of being moist enough, but you want to do some pre-moistening because if you do not, your soil will become hydrophobic and it will be hard to get it to soak up moisture. So I actually have uh, started putting water in here uh, about two hours ago, so it's been soaking in pretty good. Uh, then I took this all outside to the wheelbarrow and... Uh, mixed it in real good because I actually recycled some uh, older soil that I had sitting around down the end here. And I also added a good big scoop of um, this Dr. Earth Homegrown Organic and Natural Handcrafted Blend. Um, this is, It says tomato, vegetable, herb, fert, and herb fertilizer. Uh, it is a 463. Now, I, I have another video out there about the uh, fertilizer and what those numbers mean. And uh, the important number uh, beginning off are the first two. Uh, the first is nitrogen. It has more to do with green leafy growth. The middle number is uh, root development and some fruit development. And the third one is fruit development. Well, we're talking seeds here. And I happen to know some of these seeds I'm growing are actually lettuce, uh, which don't grow fruit. So we're not even looking for fruit off those. Uh, you don't typically put anything with high um, uh, potassium on your lettuce. But uh, anyway, so I didn't put a, I mean, I said I, said I put a healthy uh, scoop in here. It's a healthy scoop. You really normally don't need anything for seedlings uh, because the seed itself has all the nutrients it needs to get started. I like to put some in just because I get a little lazy sometimes and after that seed is starting it start needing nutrients, it's putting out its roots, it's starting to feel around the little uh, seed starting trays that we're gonna be using. Um, it's looking for some nutrients, so I like to make sure it has something in case I forget uh, with my ADD brain. And so uh, I do like to put this in there. Anyway, I've been using this for a number of years. It's great for uh, uh, younger plants. It's great for uh, a little bit for seed starting. Uh, it's great for any leafy uh, plants and I've, I've just uh, enjoyed the results from it. Now we're out here. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of seed starting trays. Um, we've got some domed uh, trays here and I have a bag of seeds. Now some of these we are not going to worry about today um, but others I am very curious, like we have a Burgundy Ice crisp, crisp Head Lettuce from Burpee from, and I'm looking at the date here, 2003. This is 2023, so these are 20 years old. It doesn't look like it's ever been opened, and I think I am opening it for the very first time. It feels like it may have uh, another envelope inside here, but I'm not sure. Oh, sure enough, look at there. It is, okay, so these seeds are sealed in a, probably, yes, it's a foil pack, uh, foil on the inside. So these seeds have been in perfect storage condition. We'll need to note that when we uh, plant these because this might be a good thing. Now, 
big thing about planting old seeds. Um, I, I, I love the story that Jess Sowards over at uh, Roots and Refuge tells about how she threw away a bunch of seeds in her first year of gardening because of that expiration date. And no, that's not an expiration date. That's when they can sell it. That's when they have to sell by. Seed companies are not allowed to sell these beyond the first year of production. After that, I have it. It's not illegal. It hasn't expired. And to be honest, the way this thing is packaged, I am very curious about these seeds. 20-year-old seeds that have been sealed, and, I, and it is a good seal. I happen to know that these seeds were sitting indoors, so they were in a good environment. Um, we have some forget-me-nots. Hmm. I had some forget-me-nots somewhere. Uh, this one does, I'm not going to do flowers, um, but uh, there's some zinnias here. Not going to grow those. We have some uh, Canterbury Bells. Hmm, I don't know what those are. Uh, we have an envelope that says Dianthus, Pink, Invisible City. Okay, so something she collected in, in Invisible City. Okay. Uh, Gerber Daisy, um, collected by my mom. Um, here's some Fairy Morris spinach, Bloomsdale Longstanding. We've done these before. Uh, that's something we'll definitely try. Now, these are from 2004. So, uh, sweet basil. I will have to save that for uh, next year. This is from Plantation Products. It is for sale in 2002. Uh, it says for nausea and headache on here. That's interesting. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to try that in the spring. Uh, Genovese basil is one I love to grow. Um, Burpee Signature High Yield uh, Spinach Salad Fresh Hybrid. Okay, that looks like one we can do today. Uh, oh, we have some coleus here. Uh, these are from 2011. Coleus, okay. Um, oh, here's some mesclun. We grew some mesclun this last round of our lettuce. Really enjoyed that. Uh, oh, here's some more mesclun. Let's see, this mesclun is from 2011. This mesclun is from 2011. So, uh, oh, there's some uh, okra, Clemson spineless okra. If you watch our videos, you know we have a forest out there of okra. I might try those next year, though. Um, Kentucky Wonder. Now, this is a plastic sealed bag. Uh, Kentucky Wonder Garden Bean um, for 2011. And the fact that it's sealed, uh, that will probably be a good planting. Uh, some nasturtium. Uh, oh, here we go. Another lettuce. This is a... Black Seeded Simpson Lettuce. And this is probably a very one of the very old ones. Oh, 2011, okay. Yes, 2011. More nasturtium. Um, this is for 2011. And Wildflowers, Texas Blue Bonnets. Now, I think I actually bought, yes, I bought these. <laughs> I forget where I saw them, but I remember I just bought, this is what I was thinking. Um, these are actually mine. I'm going to put those back in my uh, seed uh, system. But we're going to plant some of these old seeds, it's just out of curiosity to see how they grow. So of course to begin with, uh, I'm going to be filling up these seed starting trays with the soil. I'm just going to grab some handfuls of it here. And I am pressing down with about the pressure you would feel comfortable pressing on your eyeball here. I'm not pressing down very hard. You don't want to pack that soil. But we do want the cells not to have any air pockets in them. That's important because the first time we water these, 
uh, it will shift the seeds and things will get buried too deep and no telling what's happening, what's going to happen to your seeds. It gets a little unpredictable. But uh, yeah, so we're actually doing a lot of seed starting today. This is just the first one that I'm doing is using old seeds. And uh, you know, um, just, I mentioned Jessica Sowerage earlier. Uh, she had, when she found out that she could uh, um, probably have planted those seeds that she threw away, that they never had a chance to live. She had a lot of personal feelings about that in the future and wish she had planted, wishing she had planted them regrets, I guess is the best way to say it. And uh, so we don't want to have anybody having regrets, of course, of not planting seeds. Um, not that seeds are so expensive, but you just hate to lose out on all that free food uh, or at least cheap food. So anyway, We're going to use these uh, front uh, six individual um, six packs. It's just this little thing here for our, um, our the seeds that we're going to try to grow here. And we will give them a go. Okay, so I'm sitting here. I have labels ready and uh, ready to open up these unsealed lettuce burgundy ice from 2003 so these i am most interested to see if they're going to grow now you'll notice that lettuce seeds are very small seeds they're they're extremely small in fact and so it doesn't have to get buried a lot in fact the amount you bury the seeds is uh, dependent upon how big the seed is. So these are extremely small seeds. We don't have to bury them. I am going, because they're older seeds, I am going to sow them quite thickly through here. So we'll go with this first little cell here. And if we get a lot of them, great. If we don't, I have not lost anything except for my hopes of growing old seed. So, you can see it's pretty well packed now. Because these are so small, some people actually just pat them in like that. I'm, a, I'm going to put a very thin layer of, about as thin as I can make of this stuff. And we'll see if we can get anything out of that. Okay, so there is our first seeds. Burgundy, ice, lettuce, uh... Crisp head. There we go. Okay. So uh, the way I do my labels, I actually do the writing underneath. And today is 923, September 23rd. I put the date of the seed packet just because that's what we're testing. So we'll stick that there and we're good. All right. First seed planted. And that's really the only thing I'm going to be doing with each of these. Uh, different seeds. Now, I did notice that this spinach had, may or may not, I don't think it has been opened before, but it is not sealed in the nice little pouch that, that those first ones. Now also, spinach, you will notice, is a much larger seed. Uh, these are round seeds, not BB sized seeds, but they're certainly fine gravel sized seeds. And so uh, I am going to plant these rather thick because number one, I don't have a lot of success with spinach. Uh, I have not had a good spinach patch yet. Uh, so I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong or what. Oops, I dropped a seed over here. Uh, get that fixed. Okay, or if it's just Maybe I have a hard time growing spinach down here. So uh, I put a bit more. Now these are bigger seeds, so these can get buried a bit deeper. So I'm gonna pack these in with a little bit more soil on top of them. And yeah, I know this is kind of chunky stuff. I probably should have sifted, but I don't normally do that, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Bloomsdale uh, Longstanding Spinach. There we go, okay. 
Now I will put these in a individual um, uh, small quart size Ziploc bags. That's what I do with my um, seeds. And uh, I also keep them indoors where they're in the climate controlled and a little bit cooler. Uh, out here in the Florida room, it gets up to, well, in the middle of summer, it gets up to 90 degrees and we just don't want our seeds to be subjected to that. Now these are the uh, salad fresh hybrid spinach and these seeds I notice are a little bit smaller than the ones we just did. So uh, I'm doing the same thing though. They're just, they're the same shape of course, kind of little gravel shaped and I'm going to plant them about the same depth with about the same amount of soil. But again, I am planting, I know, I'm planting them pretty thick. I, hopefully you can see on the camera. Uh, I don't know how many of these are actually going to take. Now, when seeds age, uh, their, their viability reduces over time. So, uh, you know, when they're brand new, they might have 90% um, germination rate. Uh, now, they might have 10% germination rate. So they do degrade but they can still grow. Now we're talking 10 year old seeds here. So um, frankly, uh, I will not be surprised if nothing grows here. I'm not gonna be surprised if something grows because I think something will, but I will not be surprised if none of it grows. This is more for experimentation than anything else. Uh, this is mescaline. Now we like our mescaline. Uh, this is a gourmet greens mix, a uh, big bag, tons and tons of seeds. We do like this. There's the, there's the picture, but, uh, we had some red musclin, red colored musclin on the last batch. In fact, it's right here. Uh, there it is right there. Uh, these were wonderful. Of course, it's gone to seed by now, but. Uh, it was really wonderful on lettuce. Now these are little tiny, tiny round seeds. So this is a different kind of seed. Uh, I'm not gonna put as much soil on the top of these. They are uh, dark color. Oh, well, it's a mix of seeds. Okay, yes, of course. I said it's a mescaline mix, gourmet greens mix. So I'm going to spread these around. Now, watching another video to see uh, what I do with these if and when they do grow uh, because what I, I will have to thin these down for each cell uh, if 10 of them grow in a cell I cannot have 10 of them growing that close together they will do no good uh, in fact what I do with them I put them in uh, trays like this I stagger them you can see how they're kind of staggered through here uh, and then we actually grow our lettuce indoors because here in Florida I haven't had much success growing lettuce, so we spent, uh, this is our fourth year gardening. We spent our first uh, um, three years trying to grow lettuce with very limited success. So these are small seeds again, so I'm not putting very much on there, just barely covering them up. So that is our Mescaline Gourmet Greens Mix. Let's see if we get anything from that. All right, we have two left. Black Seeded Simpson Lettuce. Now this one is in a little pouch like the first one, but it is not sealed. It has been opened. Black Seeded, and it's a lettuce, so it's very small seeds. I will, of course, be sowing it thickly. Because I actually don't believe the, I think these lettuces are actually, um, go back, they don't last as long as some of the other seeds. Now, you know, you get a tomato seed or a pepper seed and those will last a long time. In fact, uh, M.I. Gardener planted some 85-year-old extinct tomato seeds and actually got them to grow, and now you can buy those seeds on their site. 
Uh, that's just very cool. 85 years, or was it 95? They were old seeds. They were almost 100 years old. But again, that's lettuce, so we're going to very lightly cover it. And we will, of course, be watering these in. Because this is in a tray all together, uh, we will be bottom watering, which means we pour about so much water into the bottom of this tray and it soaks up from the bottom. It's great for seeds because um, you don't displace the seeds when you're watering. If I just go through here and start watering across the top, across the top everything will start splashing around and it could become a mess and I don't want that. So you bottom water and it works a little better. Okay, let's see, I need to get myself straight here because I've, I've uh, gotten out of order. Put these Simpson seeds back in their thing. All right, because if these grow, these might be good. And now finally for the Mesklin sweet salad mix. And this is in a little pouch as well. I did not notice that. It has been opened, but it has been well folded over. And we're going to put these in this last uh, little set of cells. Hmm. Because those mesclun seeds are round, they have a tendency to come out first. So I had to stick them back in and mix them a little bit. And yeah, I'm putting a lot of seeds in here, probably 30 to 50 per cell. So that's pretty thick. With tomato seeds, you're only putting maybe two or three per cell. And even then you're going to be th either thinning them out or separating them out. So, all right. So we will see how these do. I will be bottom watering and I will be keeping this covered with a dome. They will go in our uh, bay window, which gets decent sunlight, but this will go in the bottom shelf. So it's a little bit kind of darker down there. As soon as these start popping up, as soon as one of these cells uh, be shows a significant amount of green, or frankly with these old seeds, any green, I will be taking out the cell and putting it not in the cover. We'll put it in another tray. So they will stay in this cover until they start germinating. Once they start germinating, they don't need to be in this cover anymore. They need to start getting air. They need to get circulation. There will be a fan blowing through there and they will be in good shape. So uh, keep an eye out. It'll probably be a short coming up in the next week or two uh, to show any results from this. Um, I am really curious to find out how old uh, how if these older seeds from either 2003, 2004, or 2011 will even grow. So anyway, if you found this interesting, um, or you would like to be sure not to miss the results coming up in a week or two, uh, be sure to subscribe to Bowtie Life. If you've already subscribed, I thank you so much. You are all heroes and have helped grow the community and helped uh, improve our uh, visibility on online and on YouTube and in Google. Um, if you thought this was interesting, uh, entertaining, informational, uh, educational, or maybe just entertaining, uh, please click the thumbs up and share this on your social media. Uh, and uh, again, we will have the results of this here in about a week or two. So keep an eye out for that video. And all that is everything I was going to do for this video. So have a blessed day.